Good morning, Queen Elizabeth Grammar School. After what seems such a long, long time since I've seen you all, I hope you and your families are well and that you remain well for the rest of this academic year. I have been delighted to see how you've come back into school. You've all taken the situation we have found ourselves in so responsibly and I'm really, really pleased that you've been listening to the instructions that your teachers have been giving to you. I recognise it's such a different world we've come back to and we all need to adapt as quickly as we can. Please can I remind you that you do need to bring your face masks in every day and you do need to wear them as much as possible when you're in the corridors, when you're going outside to line up for lunch and when you're leaving the lunch hall. Can I also ask you to try and socially distance as much as possible? So that means really limiting your time that you're within two metres from anybody else in school. Now I know that's difficult when we're walking down corridors and I accept that's okay. And it's also difficult when you're sat next to someone in lessons and at lunch and that's okay. But at any other times, please do your best to socially distance. You also need to remember to wash your hands as much as possible. So every time you go into a room, make sure that you sanitise. And if you're going past the toilets and you have time, then please nip in and wash your hands. By doing all of those three things I've mentioned, face masks, socially distancing and washing your hands, you're going to help to keep us all safe as the Quags community. If you are feeling unwell at any time, please make sure that you do tell your parents and carers before you come into school. I need to remind you that the symptoms you're looking for is a temperature, a new continuous cough, or a loss of your taste or smell. And if you have any of those symptoms, then you mustn't come to school. You need to tell your parents and carers and they need to arrange for you to have a test. Send an email to school and make sure that we know any results of those tests. And with that in mind, please make sure that you do know what your Google Classroom codes are so that you can access all the work online. Everything's there waiting for you, so there's no reason why you can't be learning just as much at home as you can do at school. Now, as become one of the traditions of this part of the school year, we're going to welcome, first of all, our New Year 7s. We're really delighted that you've chosen to join us and so far, now you'll be on your fourth day in school, you have really impressed all the teachers that you've met. The same for year 12. I am so pleased that so many of you have decided to stay with us and the academic results you got for your GCSEs are absolutely fantastic. So proud of you all and they're very well earned those GCSEs. All of you achieved exactly what I'd expected you to achieve if you'd sat those examinations. If you're new to year 12, then you're very, very welcome. And we hope that you really enjoy your time here in the Queen Elizabeth Grammar Sixth Form. A big welcome to all the pupils that have joined us in different year groups, be it year eight, nine, 10 or 11. And again, I hope that you settle in quickly. And a final welcome to our new teachers that have joined us this year. Hopefully you'll make them very welcome and show them our ways so that they can find all the rooms quickly. Now, again, another tradition for this time of the year is for me to read our New Beginnings poem. Welcome to your new school. Welcome to your future. New beginnings here and new rules, new classrooms, new computers. New timetables, new faces here, new corridors, new signs. But some things change, some stay the same and some truths last all time. You'll take out what you put in you'll reap just what you sow. So face the tests, do your best, work hard, play hard and grow. And play a full and active part in school and its community. Be pleased to say, I seize the day, I use this opportunity. Remember that you're different, there's no one quite like you, but make good friends, the ones who'll lend a hand to get you through. Remember, keep your head down, even if you feel you'll drown. Achieving is believing mixed with never looking down. And think about your future. Find a hope, a dream. Put action in your action plan 
and build yourself a team. Made of parents, made of teachers, made of family and friends. From this position, make it a mission for a trip that never ends. And so always keep on learning. There's always more to know. It may sound strange, but you can always change. It's never too late to grow. And so don't let anybody try and sneer and hold you back. Your history is not your future. So don't ever feel like that. Because our town has a history of producing boys and girls who from humble roots pull up their boots and go on to change the world. So people just like you and me can do very special things. Aim higher, be high flyers, be bold, unfold your wings. Gain an education, learn skills, gain facts and knowledge, and then take the inspiration through to jobs, careers and college. Make the most of these days, this school and its facilities. Take off the brakes, be sure to make the best of your abilities. Respect yourself and others. Have confidence, it's essential. If you keep a burning urge to learn, you'll reach your full potential. And so do things that you're proud of and let everybody see. You've passed the test. You've done the best to be the best that you can be. I wish you all a very happy and successful academic year.